I want to tell you guys about this fabulous resource we have available called Lightbox. And I uh, just wanted to show you how to find it and a little bit about what they're like. And I imagine that you can come up with a lot of interesting ways to use it in your classrooms. So to get to the Lightbox titles that we own here at Orion, you go to the library website or our catalog. And just to get there to remind everybody, we're at the Orion webpage. We hit library and then move down to catalog. Once we're here at the catalog, we are going to click catalog and then type the word light box, all one word, into the uh, search bar and then click on keyword. If you just hit enter, maybe you'll get the results. If you hit title, you'll get nothing, but you need to hit keyword and then it pulls up all of the light boxes that we have. Now, um, a couple of things to tell you about light boxes. We have two different listings for the light box for most of the light boxes um, in our catalog. If you see this little, I don't even know what shape that is, but that little shape means the online version of Lightbox. If you see this little book symbol, it means a physical copy of the book in our library on the shelves. So when you um, are preparing your lesson, sometimes it's nice to have that in your hands to flip through and turn pages. You're welcome to come check out the copy in the library, but this is not a necessary thing. You can definitely just use the online version. So let me just kind of scroll down quickly and show you the kinds of light box titles we have available currently. We've got a little bit of literature. We've got social studies with some religions. We have history. We have careers, some geography, some uh, and quite a lot of science. So uh, this is just page one, but now that you can see we have a, we have some more pages as well and you could just hit that down here for page two. So to get into a light box, we're going to just click on where it says open. Again, we got to make sure that we're looking in the online version. And this is the same for you and for the kids. So um, whether you're looking or you're sending your students there, same thing. We're going to click open. One thing I just want to mention is that when I'm at school, and the computer knows who I am, I'm not going to have to worry about opening this at all. It's just going to open right for me. But if I ever have any trouble with that opening, it might ask me to log in or whatever. All you need to do, all you should have to do is log in right up here with your school credentials and students as well. If they have any trouble opening, that's the first thing to check. Click open, light box. So when I'm on this sort of table of contents page, it gives me the full page spread for every page in the light box book. And you can see this one has 23 pages, but if I scroll down, I can see the rest of the pages. There's a total of 31 in this title. And there are two pages per image here. But what is super cool about this is that even the title page is interactive because down here on the bottom, it says Lightbox Standard Features. So when I hover over any of these tools down here on this toolbar, it's going to light up every page that has that particular tool available on it. So if you notice, every single page has audio so the kids can have it read to them. They can follow along. If I hover over video, you can see that there are uh, several pages that have videos available. And these are really great videos that uh, really enhance the study of whatever it is you're looking at. If you click the eyeball, it's a first-hand account, which is great if you've been talking about primary sources with your class. Hovering over here shows me which pages have documents attached, which pages have activities. 
Here's pages that have web links, which is almost every page. That's awesome because then the kids can get out there and look up whatever it is that they're interested in um, finding out more information. The slideshow. Now this one I think is cool. I'm gonna actually click on it and show you because the first time I looked at Lightbox, I thought, um, why would I, well, I don't even know why I would need a slideshow, but let me show you. So if I click on the page that has the slideshow and then over here on this toolbar, I'm gonna click this slideshow icon to show you that this pops up a, a separate slideshow with um, facts or photos and things that this page is focusing on that you can uh, kind of zero in on the information that you're covering. And if you notice, these slides, these pictures and these slides are the same pictures that are here on the page. So especially if you're using this in class, it makes it great for you to display that uh, on your screen and project. All right, so back to our table of contents. We just click home and it puts us back here. We have transparencies on some of these. I love the Google Maps. They're really fun and the kids love to get in there. They can zoom right in and see things and feel like they were there. So that's pretty awesome. To show you the last couple of features, I'm gonna scroll down and show you that uh, there are quizzes built into every light box and also vocabulary. So that's pretty cool. And then over here on this side, there are some supplementary resources that are mostly uh, made for teachers. This activity pack is pretty amazing. It has all kinds of different activities and assignments that you could give to the kids. And they are on editable documents here in the light box, which is cool. Or you can also download them as a PDF and have kids work on them that way. And there's also curriculum buttons that help you align to standards. And then also a destiny tab that will open up. So this destiny search is all the books that we have that have something to do with Romeo and Juliet. So that's the quick tour. I hope that you will get in and play with this because it is seriously a phenomenal resource put together for you. It's going to make planning a unit that needs to be done um, online or they can do it in class as well, but it's going to make that so much easier for you. And um, I would love to be involved in helping you with that. So please let me know if there's anything I can do to help you <clears throat> get more familiar with Lightbox. And also, there are thousands of Lightbox titles. So if there's a unit that you teach that you would be interested in uh, having a light box available, all you need to do is let me know what that unit might be and I will do the research and let you know what's available and we'll get it ordered in so that we will have that as well.